Onivia, League of Legends highlights. To a team fight, the ultimate is so powerful. If they are, are playing a poke comp, uh, the ultimate becomes a lot weaker because they can poke and prod, and it's easier to get a bad ultimate out of uh, that Taric. But when you're playing, you know, with the Ari, with the Trundle, if you can fly in there. Function, but see if they can make a play here. Santorin's hovering in the area, and Bjergsen has already made his way over, walking over the territory they had previously warded, bringing down the domain. Kumo getting a bit of slap and flashes directly onto Santorin. One more tower shot will take him down for the first blood. Can they pull out Kumo in the process? Oh. Silver Rage up Whippo has flashes forward. Bjergsen safely escapes with the last tower shot, and it's a one for one. Available to either of them kumo having used as a little earlier we'll have that up in soon time but yeah that was a trade that actually got whippo pretty marked down still has that red buff available to him jose oh. deodo rotating over from lane trying to take advantage of the low hp but kumo gets one more slice from the queue jose deodo flashes in for it throws down the damage and whippo's taken out yeah nice move there from jose deodo just going straight towards top nine meanwhile down bot fly quest are taking the first dragon that's actually pretty nice from kumo i'm not sure if it would have been better to ult him into the tower but he actually ulted him into his once again isolated but bjergsen's making his way up towards this top as well. A play that we've seen time and time again from Team Liquid to keep him protected. Rift Herald is up here too for somebody to have the taking eventually. A nice knock zipping on forward onto Kumo. Bjergsen, a great charm to finish it off. The Orb of Deception, but it's Whippo that gets the kill. Nicely done there by Bjergsen, gets the roam. Squish should be calling that out and Flyquest just not respecting the roam. They are moving out though to try to challenge here. And poor JJ also here as well. Going to be faced right off by Aphromoo. Goes on forward to stun and another charm directly onto Jose Deodo. No more jungler for Flyquest. Mean that Team Liquid feel secure in their take. Pocket has the potential to just get all this gold for free. And another Ari on the way if he needs any additional assistance too. Kumo charm oh, again. Flash. Another orb. Everything going right here in the top lane. And because of that attention that was paid Bjergsen making that roam just to ensure that the Herald could smash. They do manage to position themselves for a second drag. Out and, and try to get into damage mitigation uh, as, as, as hard as he can. But, you know, they can try to work towards Soul. But TL hasn't really been much action, right? Like, they've pretty much just been trading farm here um, back and forth. The Zeri and the Tristana. You know, they are going to be able to grab that gold there for Johnson on the bottom side. But it's probably going to cost them two towers here mid. We'll see how quickly FlyQuest can respond. But they don't even need Shelly's first charge here for that tier one. Whippo is moving over. So five-man rotation from TL to try to push this up. They get the charge off. Will they finish the tower? Smashes on in. Jose Deodo had to use the Heartbreaker just to get out to make sure he didn't fall. Three-man knock up here. A couple roots as well. But what do you know? Poor JJ's got a nice ultimate in his pocket. Explosive cast on the outskirts to push Whippo away. But no lives are lost. They don't see Bjergsen oh. here. He's going to face check. Yeah, Bjergsen was sitting right on top of that control ward for whoever might be passing by. The dragon itself has been completed. Team Liquid taking it down. So instead, they're just going to trade bot. They recall three. They send their two soul laners down bot to try to trade it tower and their bot lane plus jungler will actually get up here to try to defend their own tier two Wads to clear out vision and because they have full vision control on this bottom side you know, there's there's nothing stopping uh, this play from being made down here because they have full info there so they actually just have Lucian soul that up. as well with that passive you don't want to over spam and run completely out of mana but you can do very healthy baron attempts they're going to try to force it they get the tp here out of fly quest will they just full-on commit looks like they're they're down to flip a 5v5 potential, but it's blue side Team Liquid getting the Baron right now. Very similar to what happened Escort from Team Liquid oh, down mid. Flag. There is a teleport available from Bjergsen if he wants to come through. But the Zeri gauge. here. Here we go. Two locked down. Two stun for Team Liquid. But so far, it is one eliminated in for JJ. Jose Vero, heartbreaker over to the side. Gets Charm back into it. Explosive cast to send Santorin in the opposite direction. But Takui flashes over the wall to get out of Bjergsen's way. That's a man you got to worry about his damage. That's a pillar you got to worry about the slow, but you got the stopwatch. All the gauge. The Kumo, the event horizon is good. Catches two, but the damage follow-up isn't there. So Team Liquid dodging Dark Matter on Dark Matter. They stay. Tried to spend their spells on Core JJ and burst him down. I guess the read is that, oh, Kumo, probably going to oh, go down. Oh, Whippo, you feeling pretty strong right now, huh? You got that calling for Kumo, huh? Kumo right into his barrel and sent off to sea. Yeah, Kumo going to fall down there. Didn't spend the flash. Couldn't get out of range. Does end up going down. 
Johnson, will he look to try to make a play here? Afro's on the wraparound. Oh, meanwhile, right here around the mid lane, Sequoia and Jose de Oro are on the retreat flash forward. Santorin throwing up his pillar once again. And on the opposite side, Aframu is here for some support. Gets a hook onto Bjergsen. The stun up to follow. Oh, but the stun onto the enemy support is here too. Now the Cosmic Radiance coming in nice and strong for Core JJ. The level of sustain, good for Team Liquid. Bjergsen zoning off to Koi. And the tower in mid is going down as well. This grants Team Liquid a bit of extra room to make their movement. Yeah, they're going to try to push in here. They have that tower down. But FlyQuest doing a good job holding on. They did get the kill on Boop on the top side. It ended up being Johnson grabbing a solo kill there. I'm um, admittedly very softened up. Whippo. They're actually going to tr try to push down mid here, take a tier two. Then they can exit through the jungle over towards that dragon and start it up if they want. Um, Whippo has TP'd, but FlyQuest getting a little bit stuck on this pillar. It's going to get awkward. Team Liquid hoping to corral them as much as possible. After Either of these teams, the two previous being claimed by Team Liquid, FlyQuest congeal together to try and take on Team Liquid here. Yeah, FlyQuest, I mean, they spent all their tempo, though, going down mid and taking a tier two, which is honestly just irrelevant. Oh, Bjergsen goes in, gets the charm onto one stopwatch immediately after another strong core JJ ultimate and the support gone. Team Liquid positioned to take the Drake. Yeah, and they're going to continue looking to position for even more. The pillar is going to lock in Johnson. They want to potentially chase here. TL then are able to kind of recoup that, push out mid, meet them towards that dragon, and TL take the fight. TL take the dragon. They're at soul point and still with a massive gold lead and Baron about to spawn here. Yeah, Jose Deodo taking a long way around. They do outnumber Team Liquid here on the top side. Rocket jump Decoy along the shot onto Bwipo. Decoy sees if he can get an event horizon down to lock down Team Liquid as soon as they arrive. Hansama right in the middle of that pit. Throws down the ultimate, gets blasted on down. Whippo, you are in dangerous territory. Oh. That's what happens to an ADC. Reset! Out, you get the flash forward after the rocket jump reset, and it's good for a kill. Johnson putting in the plays to be four and zero. And Kumo alley-oops him into the cage there. Takoi, even so much patience, he never even spent the ulti because he knew he had the damage to get the kill. So if TL ever turned to fight, he still had... He's his... very defensive in getting out of a lot of these fights against Team Liquid. But now we were able to see the true power that they have behind. Yep, and at the very least, they will get this tier two. So not going to really be able to pressure the base here. Unfortunately, for our FlyQuest just didn't have the correct timings on those pushes. Hip. So FlyQuest is the one kind of on the time crunch here. They're going to start this up, and it's down to Santor, but he has no flash. They force out the flash earlier with that cage. Don't have much vision. Whippo's not the here. Outskirts. They're not going to contest it. They're trying to trade. They're actually trying to go for Whippo to potentially trade in the hip, but FlyQuest need to press. You are 5v4. Push in. Make Whippo TP back or try to get something more. Take it or leave it, FlyQuest. They take the inhibitor, and Whippo continues to usher that wave over towards that top side. See how quickly FlyQuest can respond from here on out. I mean, someone's got to get back, right? You've got to get back and actually answer this. They're afraid to. If, if you wait too long, you know, if TL are able to stop these recalls, uh, then it could be really bad. TL, of course, don't have vision in their jungle to actually just go in there and face check. So it is just the inhibitor trade. You know, FlyQuest played it a little bit slow, but now, Bwipo, you're in trouble. He way over. Yeah, they're actually sending everyone bot, four-man bot. Oh. They're going to try to base race this, but the Baron's going to go down too fast, and they're going to be able to recall. So all they're really going to be able to get is this mid lane in hip, and they have to be a bit worried still about the potential home guards coming in. Coming in, actually triple TP coming in. Everyone showing up to this. This is likely the fight that decides the game. It's a house party. Everyone's got an invitation. Aframu putting Bjergsen into the VIP status with that one hook, but the calling right onto the outskirts. Another stasis utilizing for JJ, keeping his team alive. But the focus onto the dragon is good. It's Jose Dero that takes it down. One down right now for Team Liquid. Hansama really on the teetering edge of death, and as soon as he comes back into it, finds his grave ready and set for him. Team Liquid pushed off of this. Soul achieved by FlyQuest. But Kumo already very dangerous. A nice cage to get around Core JJ. And even though he flashes over it, he can't get out of the way of that ultimate. Aframu, you're in dangerous territory, my friend. Bjergsen and Whippo looking to get collapsed upon, though. Flash from Takoi to get out of the charm range. And with that, the rest of FlyQuest funneling into the base, looking for an opportunity to take down Team Liquid. Onto one Nexus turret they go. Those bombs hit pretty strong if you're Tristana baby what can team liquid whippo do when FlyQuest is coming for you nexus down fly win FlyQuest take the game over tl what a comeback from them really all off of that top lane play the tp flag